Hi everyone, here's my run through for the solo scenario reaching the end of the instance as part of the achievement in the Hall of the Thunder King. As you can see I received all four of the criteria uh, last week, um, but if you want to reach the end you'll generally need three of these polymorphic keys, one or two of the frost rune traps, minimum of one, and a few sleeping dust. Um, being a priest I don't actually need the Potion of Light Steps but you may find it handy if you don't have a class that can otherwise do that. So here we go. It's important to work out which criteria you're going for right at the beginning and not change from that. So if you figure you want to do the 10 golden chests, but then you think, oh, the RNG isn't too good this week, and then you want to change to going to the end for the two criteria, then you'll probably waste a lot of time doing that. So stick with it and see how you go. The reason why you need a minimum of three keys is because you need two for these doors here. What a horrible start. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's horrible. using my cheat. Okay. Still have three minutes. There does seem to be a bit of a cooldown on the key though. This is where the trap comes in. Perfect. Third key. And this is the last room. This is the boss you need to kill. Quite often he comes with the two dogs though. And he does an AoE cone effect, which is that. Make sure you don't get caught in that. But as you can see there are two golden chests, he also has one on his back, which he drops when he dies. So if you short three chests on the ten golden chests, that's another alternative. seven seconds.
has a key too and the NPC is just over there you can just see him in the corner to get credit for the achievement you have to actually click his chat option and he will give you an extra key as well another burial trove key which comes in handy right at the end